All right, so while I've been working on my refined storyboard, you know, kind of cleaning it up, I was trimming up the edges of this one and then realized I just want this one anyway. So once you have that, you save it and you save it as your own PSD with that name, refined storyboard, right? And then you save it as a JPEG, export as JPEG. Come on. That will go to downloads. You pull it out of your downloads, bring it to your desktop, and that's what you're going to put into Canvas. Now, while I was doing that, I was patiently waiting for easygift.com to bring in my frames, and it finally did. All the frames are there. And all I have to do is set my timing. Now, this would be let's see, this would be five frames per second, one twentieth of a second. That's its default timing. And I can try that. I can say make a GIF and see if I like that timing. It's going to keep the same timing for each frame. But if I wanted to, I could individually time them so that some frames play faster than, the, than others, right? And I was curious, I'm just going to try to play it straight here. But I was curious about maybe making this a faster delay so that it moves through that very quickly before it fades out and staying on this one a little bit longer. So this is with everything exactly the same at five frames per second. And just for my taste, that works, but it's a little fast. But if I want to save that, all I have to do is right click and save image as and it's a GIF right to the desktop. So I like parts of it, but I don't like how quick the eyes are moving, how quick the fish move. So I'm going to change it all to the default to 33 frames per second. Make a GIF. And then it's going to move a little bit more slowly. and a little bit more like what I tested and designed. But wouldn't it be fun to speed it up when he sucks the fish up? So I can control all of this. I can say 33 for most of these, copy, paste. It's a little annoying, but it gives you full control of all the timing. These are in fractions of one hundredths of a second. So 33 for all of these. But then here, I'm going to go to 20, 20, 20 for the sucking in. Then here, 33. Here, 33 for I'm turning green. Delay that. One third of a second instead of one fifth. And then here, I'm going to make it even shorter. I'm going to make it uh, one... 10 one hundredths of a second. And then this I'm going to leave longer to 50. And then I'm going to let it fade out. Okay. So I'm going to leave. Oh, shoot, man. <laughs> Since I need to customize it, I need to write them all in. So I'll do that again. Duh. And say make a gift, but I don't want to make all of them the same necessarily, though that is the standard way you do it. I'm just showing you how you can customize because I got to be special. So now it's going to be 20, 20, 20, 20. Then we're going to go back to 33, 33, 33, 33, 33. Go to 10. Go to 50, go to 20, and then 20, 20, 20, 20. And because I start with the same frame that I st uh, end with, that's going to be like a 40 at the end. Okay, now I leave those blank because I already set all my timing. I don't want to crossfade. I don't want to do anything too, too crazy. I just want to see how, how it looks. 
All right. Nice slow fade in. Nice slow movement of the eyes and the fish. It's nice and meditative. Oh, that should be faster. Maybe I can speed that up a little bit more. Oh, but the puke works well, and then the fade works well. So instead of it being 20, I'm going to make this a little bit more jarring, make these 10. Because I guess I do have a lot of frames sucking in the fish. So make a GIF, output a new one, see if you like it. And I'm just using Command minus to shrink it onto the frame. And you, you know you're animating when you're just really, really sick of it. <laughs> you're just sick of looking at it. All right. So I'm going to try making it only three tenths of a second because I'm not seeing a whole lot of change. This should be dramatic when it gets to sucking in that fish. So I want it sucking it in fast. Nice and meditative. I like the eyes. Hmm. Oh, okay, like it's just kind of loading. Yeah. It's got to be patient. Yep, okay. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for that tip. So maybe three hundredths of a second is a little too fast. It's, it's, there's something there. I'm going to try, uh, let's try nine. <laughs> three times slower, but it still should work. Or I can be super fancy and go like six, seven, eight, nine. So it gets faster as it gets closer to his mouth. Okay. Now I got to be patient. Patience is needed in art. This is something I don't have. And that time doesn't really count, right? We got to wait till it all loads if you're going to customize your, your timing. Okay, now it's moving at a better clip. I think we got the frame rate dialed in. Yeah, so now I like that. Like something happened, it goes pretty fast. And I'm going to leave that vomit up just a little bit longer. No, I'm not. I'm just going to save it. Okay, so how do we save it? It's nice to optimize it. That just helps redundant colors, because remember, GIFs are 256 colors. So if you just click on Optimize, you're going to use the default, and that will help it run better. It's optional. It will still run on Canvas either way. And then on your Optimize GIF, you're just going to right-click, and you're going to say save image as to the desktop. You can put it your own name. So Carl, assignment three, GIF, animation. And remember, you have all of your frames, so you can always output it with different timing. And then check your desktop, and then you can test it by opening it on Safari. It's the only thing I use Safari for, because I feel sorry for it. And there it is, looks good, works. I got that really fast timing and then the projectile puke. It's all there. Okay, now I know it works. I can put it to canvas. So, all my things, all three things that are needed. My rough storyboard, my GIF animation, just gonna drag and drop, and then size, just like it's any other image. Once it fully loads, then I can click on it and I can resize it. Right. And then my refine storyboard, the JPEG of it. And I'm also going to have to shrink that down once it fully loads. And I am here to help you guys with formatting. You just want to get something turned in by 
eleven fifty nine tonight for it. All right, so rough storyboard, finished GIF animation, refined storyboard. And this will have a lot of white space around it. That's to make it print formatted. They both tell a story of a transformation, we hope, but they tell it in a different way. This in a time-based media. This in a still-based. If you have more than nine frames you need to include, you just want to try to format it as cleanly as you can with even gutters. I find nine is easiest because you can grow from the center. All right. All right. Great. So that last part is the refined storyboard. That's not hard to do, and I can definitely help you with that, especially in lab hours. But with the end of today's class, I want to introduce sketching for our next project. So I'm going to stop this video and just walk you through Unit 9. We also have our group presentations that we're working on, and that information is in Unit 8.